Good morning, and welcome to another Mondays with Michael. Uh, great to have you here. What month is it? You're right, it's October. And, and what's October the start of? Next year. So this is the first official month of 2020. And keep in mind, 2020 is your very first year that will set the tone for the next decade. So ask yourself, what do I want the next decade of my life and my career to look like? So when we're talking about 2020 and, and setting yourself up on the right goals, we want the business planning. So today's actually a conversation on business planning for next year. And one of the tools that we use at KW is a, a GPS or a 135. So this is a great tool in order to really decipher what are the activities that you need to do next year to make sure you hit your goal. So the first thing you do with the 135 is you set up your one big goal. What's your one big goal? What one goal, if you hit, will take care of everything else in your world? For, for most real estate agents, using either sales volume, gross commission, or commissions earned is typically that one big goal because you're in this business to earn money, so you want to set your goal around what you want to earn. So let's just say perhaps your one big goal is I want to earn $500,000 next year as your one big goal. From there, you're going to create your three priorities. Your three priorities and the three things that you need to focus on to accomplish your one big goal. And again, the MREA tells us one of the three most important things in accomplishing uh, and building a big real estate business is typically leads, listings, and last of all, leverage. So we don't have time in four minutes to build all these out. Let me give you a quick example. For instance, if, if we do the economic model, and take the $500,000 back into how many appointments you need to have, you, you might see here you need one new listing appointment per week. You know, so it could be a focus. Fizbos could be a focus. Expireds, sphere of influence. And then with leads, you want to ask yourself, where am I going to generate additional leads from? Are you using the, uh, the, the, the Keller Mortgage Tool? in order to do a, a, a Facebook ad for a free mortgage, which is accomplishing great results. What does your SEO strategy look like? And with leverage, you know, what does your leverage look like? To earn 500,000, it might be plugging in the command at a higher level, using our social media marketing campaigns, which are a leverage opportunity for you. Perhaps it's, it's hiring an assistant for 30 hours a week. So you're gonna map out the five areas you need to focus on how to write leverage in your business. What are the five areas in order to make sure you're, you're focused on the listings and what are your, your five areas on leads. Now again, you might have a different three. You might have six or seven strategies in each one. So whether it's one, three, five, or one, three, seven, or one, four, six, the concept is you've got one big goal that's gonna break down the three priorities in each priority are going to have specific strategies you need to attack to get there. If you're not sure uh, what this all looks like or you want more information, November 11th in Morristown, me and Sean will be teaching a class on how to do 135. We'll make sure we get dates in Baskin Ridge, Trumbull, and Massive People as well. Um, and, and, and really delve deep into this tool because it's a great way to make sure you're setting up your best plan for next year. Because again, this is the beginning of the next decade. So you want to make sure you hit the next decade running. Good luck. See you, See you next Monday.